So a lot of drag queens have really big, big, big hair. So the hair on the drag queen goes up, up, up. So you can put your hands on your head like this and go up, up, up. So the hair on the drag queen goes up, 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 the hair on the drag queen goes up, up. All right, friends, welcome once again to Look and Live. You here with Pastor James Devalon, and this is another reaction video. I have Dave Rubin on the channel here once again on a Dave Rubin report. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to let him do his thing, okay? And I'll react at the end of this video. Let's take a listen to this. Here's the televised mental institution, MSNBC, with racist Joy Reid, and uh, she actually aired a clip of Drag Queen Story Hour, and I don't think this segment went exactly how she intended. For just to go on, because I don't think most people have ever seen one. I've been to one with kids there, with like kids there. I want to show you guys what Drag Queen Story Hours look like, because there was a drag show at, that was supposed to be at this club uh, when this attack happened. I just want those who don't know what they look like to see what one looks like. This is cut two. Please play this. The hair. Mm -hmm. so a lot of drag queens have really big, big, big hair. So the hair on the drag queen goes up, up, up. So you can put your hands on your head like this and go up, up, up. So the hair on the drag queen goes up, 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 up. The hair on the drag queen goes up, 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 all through the town. Good job. And you know, it, it makes me sad, Brandon, that that scares right wing people so much that they would try to ban it or your governor sued people over it. And then people. Joy Reid. Joy Reid, Joy Reid, Joy Reid. Enough with the political rhetoric and the virtue signaling. What in the world? What need is there of a man dress in an outfit such as that, reading to little children, what benefit does this add to their lives? Question number one. Question number two. Question number two. Why are they so fixated on children? Why are the children their primary target? Hmm. Why not adults? Why not cops? Why not another group of people? Why are children? You think about that. Let me say something. Even if a bunch of priests, pastors, were aiming to talk to little children of this age, I will start scratching my head too. I'll be like, yo, what's wrong with these people? Even though they have the Bible open, I will still say, hmm, why are you so focused on these children? Is there something behind the scene that we need to know about? Is there an agenda? Could there be? And that's the question they're not asking though. Why the children? surprised when there's violence against people who are trans and LGBTQ. Okay, a little throwaway first. Joy Reid years ago on her blog used to go after Charlie Crist all the time because he was a closeted gay Republican. So she deleted all those posts and then pretended that somebody hacked into her blog. But she has a history of anti-gayness herself. Now, I wanna be clear about one thing here. There's a difference between drag queens and trans people. What you saw there was a dude dressed up as a chick. I, I have no evidence, I was told by Joy Reid that that's a drag queen, not a trans person. So that is a guy who identifies as a guy who dresses up like a chick and for some reason wants to read children's stories to children. And why would you want a five-year-old to have to look at that thing and think about what is going on here? What, 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 why would you want to enter into, look, as an adult, you can live your life any way you see fit. Mm -hmm. And it's ultimately up to a parent, obviously, to decide what they want to see and what they want their child to see and what they wanted them to be affected by and all of those things. 
Um, but there's obvious, like, it's just so obvious it's ridiculous. That, so that, but I just want to make the point that there is a difference between a drag queen and a trans person who fundamentally feels that they are in the wrong body and then often goes through the, the surgeries to transition into the other gender. This would be someone like Caitlyn, Caitlyn Jenner, right? Bruce Jenner, who became Caitlyn Jenner. Uh, Bruce did the whole thing. Bruce chopped, Bru no, Bruce added the boobs, chopped the wang. Bruce is living as a woman. I, I, I'll, it's okay, good to go. Okay, Caitlyn, it's, it's all good. Uh, but that does not mean you have to infect the minds of children with this stuff. And I would recommend that you read Irreversible Damage by Abigail Schreier, who I've had on the show, uh, how it is becoming a social contagion that suddenly trans, the amount of kids who identify as trans is exploding. Usually it's young girls who want to transition to boys. And then they realize a year or two later after sometimes they've taken these puberty blockers and all sorts of other stuff that, oh no, it was just a little bit of a phase or it was a social contagion. Remember the movie Heathers? It was a social contagion. Everyone starts acting the exact same way. But there is a bizarre movement in mainstream media to normalize drag queens with kids. Again, why don't drag queens, okay, so they do events at gay nightclubs, okay, that's fine. They do events at gay nightclubs, gentlemen nightclubs, right? These are the same people you want your children to sit under and read books to your children. You have to understand this is not about children's story reading time. Friends, pay attention. It's a form of indoctrination. This is why the word grooming has become a new word attached to this movement for good reasons, of course. It's intentional. They are taking the minds of the young and they're debasing it and sexualizing their mentality. What's going to happen over time if God does not intervene, if these parents don't take control, these kids will go on to prolong this agenda. They will take it to the next level. This is not happening by chance. This is all part of the demoralization of our nation. It's happening in front of your eyes, but a lot of people can't see it. And they think this is all fun and games. You wait five to 10 years from now. Watch what happened with these kids that are being read that drag queens are reading books to. Watch what happened. You will say that, that, that old pastor on YouTube was talking about this. You will remember me then. Why don't they do events with anyone else other than kids? Again, the actuaries, the accountants, the dentists, the shoe salesmen, whoever it might be. True. Why doesn't the NBA bring in a bunch of drag queens to do team building with the Knicks? Bizarre, right? It has to be with kids. That's the point. It has to be with kids. Why? It's an agenda. And I'm not attacking drag queen people here. I think some of them think they're doing what they believe is right. But some people can believe what they're doing is right, but what they're doing is still wrong because they believe it doesn't necessarily make it right. But the idea behind that, you just sit down and think for a minute. We've come to accept in our culture, children sitting in front of grown men whose business is to perform for adults. And they do things that I cannot talk about in this channel. Okay. Primarily, that's their job. But the same people, we sit them down and we sit our children down to be lectured, read, storied about, to admire them. And that's what you don't understand with the human mind. The scripture says, by beholding, we become changed. Let me find this for you. That's a good text. This is coming from Corinthians. Um, let me find this for you. I'm going to explain to you what, uh, what the whole idea behind this drag queen movement is all about. It's all in the Bible. I'm going to make it simple for you. It's not confusing. The one that are confused, um, 
are the people who think this is all fun and games until we have a generation of young people who are completely lost. Now watch this. And I know some will say you bigot, you this. Listen, I don't have time for these name games. I don't have time for those name calls. <laughs> like you, you, if you thinking of me like that, I'm letting you know, I don't really care. You know what I care about? Souls. I care about the children. I care about those drag queens, whether they're all deceived or not. I care about the facts. I care about the truth. So name calls mean nothing to me. Now, watch this. But we all in open face, beholding as in a glass, the glory of the Lord, are change into the same image. What? From glory to glory, even by the spirit of the Lord. Now watch this. The point is, you behold in the glass God's glory, therefore you are changed. The same concept is true. There's a good story in the Old Testament. I think it was, uh, I think it was Jacob. Was it Jacob? Or oh, Isaac, one of them. Isaac, I think it was Isaac. Uh, he had set up his sheep to behold this uh, replic. Uh, this copy of other sheep it's good to study I can, I can find a story to you but the point is he had his sheep staring at these other sheep at these other sheep right and by them staring they were able to graze and eat and grow and actually become well and prior to that these these, these sheep were weak and the point of the whole experience was that by having the sheep beholding other sheep that were in certain conditions, they themselves were transformed, were changed in the same way. This is not about drag queen story hours, men performing and making children laugh. You might think that's what this is about. No. This is about setting an example in front of the children and let them take a look at that. And by them looking at it, their perception will change and their lives will change and they will go on to make decisions accordingly. That's what this is about. This is about changing the mentality of the young starting now. And if you get the children now, you can never fix them ever again. It's going to take a miracle from God to change their mentality. So the sooner you corrupt the young, the better it is for you. The sooner you, you confuse them, the better it is for the agenda. This is well thought of. It's a plan in the hearts of the enemy. And I'll say to every parent who listen to this, don't ever take your children to that kind of nonsense. Keep them away from that. If you care and love them, you care about their decision in the future, keep them away from that. Keep them away from that. Keep them away, far away from that. That's my counsel to you. Take it or leave it. But I will say for those of you who don't believe in that, just keep teaching your children the truth. Don't fall by the confusion. It's unnecessary. Anyway, friends, like and subscribe to the page. Click the bell icon for more. I'm done ranting here. I'll see you on the next one. Bye.